Hi, Johnny Good for realhomestudio.com. Uh, welcome to another part of my series, Working with Limitations. Today I'm looking at uh, mind tricks in the home studio. Um, a kind of placebo effect uh, I've noticed a couple of times when I might have a new plug-in or something and I'm listening to the track and I'm thinking, wow, this sounds really, really good now with this new bit of gear. And then I look into the track and it's not actually switched on. And it's it's kind of that weird kind of mind trick, a bit like when maybe like a, an engineer or someone you've worked with says, doesn't this snare sound really, really awesome? And it's kind of loaded. It's already convinced your mind that it sounds um, better before you've even made your own decision. Um, and this can happen quite a lot in a home studio, especially if you're working on your own, it can be really, really tricky. Um, one thing I've noticed is the phenomenon of the person in the room, another person in the room when you're listening back or when I'm listening back to, to stuff I've worked on. Um, um, particularly with vocals, um, it seems when, uh, which is 99% of the time, my wife comes into the room, I can hear faults in the vocals and tuning so much clearer than I could before she came in the room. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know why the senses seem to get heightened. It's almost as if it becomes like a performance and you become really super sensitive to, to kind of what you feel is, is wrong with it. Um, but it's really, really worth trying, uh, particularly as you get towards the end of a mix, just kind of highlights bits which stand out and you're like, whoa, that sounds... I mean, I'm not talking about just asking that person, saying, what do you think about this? I'm talking about how it makes you feel when you know someone else is listening to that mix. It's a weird phenomenon. If you haven't experienced it or if you live on your own or something, um, get a friend to come in and listen to something and see if you feel something different or if it exposes the weaknesses uh, of, of what you've worked on. Um, second one I've noticed is when a mix is finished, the difference between listening to it on the screen within your door and listening to it bounce down and through um, your conventional desktop player, that's, let's call it Windows Media Player. Um, it's a weird thing, but I've noticed when it's when something's finalized and finished and it comes down, and I listen to it in the same way that I would listen to uh, other music, it sort of becomes a, a different thing. It's very finalized and it, it seems to be on the same playing field somehow. Um, Sounds a bit crazy, but um, that's that's what I've noticed. It's something something in that sense of this is now finalised and finished, and this is how this sounds. It becomes one um, one entity, one united thing that's in a file, um, and it just kind of brings something else out in the mind. Particularly also if it's going to be then sent on. Uh, to a client or sent sent on to you know a, a friend's band or if you're going to upload it and you know open it to 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 the world to listen to um it just seems to um bring something different out to the ears and how our mind uh in, interprets what we've done it's a really cool thing again a bit like the person in the room to highlight uh, a couple of things which maybe aren't quite working for you in the mix um so give that a try too um just listening to your your you know your final mix as a bounce down file rather than just through your door and then bounce it down and upload it um and the third one is kind of listening when you finish your mix listening not even in another room but like as far away as you kind of can listening to your mix ambiently um putting in a uh, an everyday scenario where uh, and go and do something else so you know kind of go and brush your teeth or um, go move around in the house or if you're in a flat go you know go and have a shower or something have, have the mix on and see how it feels ambiently almost kind of uh, trick your mind into just thinking that the radio is on or something and that can be a really good I often find that quite confident confidence boosting I also find it's quite a good way to um, see where the bass is sitting and stuff like that and see what's coming through um um if physically you know if you like um but uh this is more thinking about the mind and thinking you know just listening to your music in a really different environment and context can really really um help um help you get a different perspective on the work you've done um so there's kind of three suggestions that i found that kind of do um really help actually um 
play around with the mind and how we interpret um, music and uh, and the work that we've done on mixes. Um, hope uh, that made you think a bit um, about the placebo effect and some some mind tricks within your home studio. Um, I'm Jody Good. Um, please subscribe to my uh, chat, uh, uh, my new website blog, uh, realhomestudio.com, and have yourself a great day.